Hi everybody, I hope everyone is having a good uh, lazy Sunday. Um, uh, yeah, I didn't record yesterday, sorry about that. Um, I had a really bad day yesterday. Um, it wasn't as bad as the flare-up that I had um, that was recorded before by my husband, but I woke up and I was trying to be very, very strong and not take any painkillers. But... Um, as a result, I was just, you know, the fact that the last couple of weeks has drained me. Um, and I've been out every single day and a few days, obviously, with the um, um, stepdad, uh, my husband's stepdad being, um, who well, passed away, sadly. We were pretty much in the last couple of days um, at the hospital there, um, staying at the hospital in the daycare, uh, day room. So obviously my body ached yesterday and it just got the better of me and it just it felt like every single bone and nerve and part of my skin was on fire um the hairs i couldn't i couldn't the hair on whatever every single part of me just felt like somebody had lit a, a matchstick and just sort of was just hovering over it so every little movement um was that um burning sensation tingly sensation numb um my aches and my body just felt like um you know one of those big machines that would just sort of tar the road and flatten out um it just felt like somebody was going over my bones back and forth back and forth um i was just constantly knocked out in and out of sleep um and it just didn't feel like anything. But um, with the last time I went to sort of hospital, um, the day before, you know, the day after my CT scan, when I went to A and E, um, when they did the hemoglobin and the blood test, they also told me I was anemic. So um, the iron, um, the iron supplements that I'm taking, obviously, wasn't doing that great. Um, at this time of year, obviously, wasn't absorbing that much. But to be honest, I had slacked off a little bit. Um, and that's probably why I've, um, to them, um, showed up that I was on the anemic side. Luckily, I didn't, it wasn't low. They gave me the number of 11, 12, which is on the border. If it had been eight, they would have had to do a transit blood transfusion. So thankfully, you know, that rang the bell, uh, alarm bells. And I've, since I've back, been back, I've been taking it, uh, properly. And, um, you know, been giving myself the slap on the wrist for having to sort of slack off and sort of taking what I need, I should be taking. Um, I just don't like the taste of medicines, especially when you know you've got to take it for life every single day. But yeah, it's whether I've got to outweigh the taste or my health. Um, and uh, yesterday was, obviously, I'd rather avoid the taste and take it rather than feel so horribly wrong in all angles and I'm sure I'm not the only one that probably thinks oh medicine what's it gonna do yeah please don't listen to yourself when that little sound at the back of your head just pops up and says one day isn't gonna cause a problem yes it is yes it is um it's not a nice feeling um and it wouldn't be better if you had to stay in hospital and have a blood transfusion so um as hard as it is um sometimes times like this i wish i met my mum's because no matter what happens your mum or your parent or whoever's looking after you will always end up coming to you at the back and like yeah make sure you have this um yeah uh, life gets on and yeah i kind of miss that but anyway um i'm back today um i couldn't resist last night i ended up having to take my tramadol i take the weakest one 50 m uh, milligrams but I find that at the moment, the one helps me to get off and out of bed. It it doesn't completely take away the pain, but it helps numb it. Um, and I've just noticed that I'm kind of shouting. Um, my ears are kind of semi-blocked. Um, so I won't be shouting down to you guys and sound like it sounds really loud. Um, that's also caused me to take a deep breath and notice that I'm running out of breath. Um, and I haven't even, I'm just sitting here. Whew, that was hard work. Anyway, um, yeah, I've managed to get up and about. I'm looking at my luggage, which you guys can see at the back. And 
We were supposed to go uh, to Malta um, on the 27th, which is in a couple of days' time. But when I book my tickets, or our tickets, we always make sure that they're flexible, just in case. Usually I tend to think just in case for my health, but in this scenario, it was also the um, passing away of the, um, the husband's stepdad. So we kind of postponed it for a week, and now we're flying out on the 4th of December. Uh, the flight is really early in the morning, so we kind of booked, um, knowing me that I won't be able to sort of drive up to Gatwick Airport um, and fly out. Um, so uh, we've booked a hotel near there the day before. And again, I can't, with the life of me in this cold, be able to take public transport, etc. It's just a hassle. So we'll be driving up there, staying at a hotel um, that has a transport, sort of a shuttle to the airport. Um, and... Uh, they do cheap uh, parking, so I don't have to park. They're only a few minutes away from the airport, so I don't have to park and pay cost or huge amounts at the airport car park. Um, yeah, um, we pick it up on the way back and sort of come over. So um, we got all that planned out and just take an easy flight there and um, enjoy the warmth. I'm hoping that um, it should be 18 degrees during the daytime, a maximum, minimum 11 so it's not too hot and not too cold. Um, yeah, I mean, as much as with my Reynolds, which is uh, slightly warming up, I've got it on my hot water bottle. So you can imagine that the few minutes I went to the kitchen to get something to drink and back, I put the heating up, but I thought I'd be trying brave to sort of keep it on regular, but I've just blasted it up right now. Um, yeah, um, as much as I've got Reynolds and the warm weather is perfect, because of the scleroderma, um, or basically side of things, my skin does, and the lupus, it tends to flare up more in the heatest, or the hottest, and the sort of the highest UV, which I need to keep away from. So usually, as um, I should be keeping away from the highest UV points, which is usually advised by the rheumatologist between 12 and 3, but, um, yeah, it's a matter of those the air t things. It is like I've got to work around the warmth, but at the same time, don't work around it. Um, I, I do get heat strokes. I don't tan. I don't do any of that stuff. It just hits me and it hits me hard. And then I end up vomiting and it's like a circle. So, yeah, I've, I've learned to sort of avoid it. And I'm just looking forward to going to Malta at the moment. Um, Mediterranean weather, pretty much similar to here in the UK. Um, I've got my um, EU sort of um, hospital card from the NHS, so God forbid, and I've also got the health insurance covered. So if anything happens, fingers crossed it won't, touch wood, um, God willing nothing happens. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to sort of going there and just pray that nothing kicks off beforehand. Um, this year has been quite rough, um, several deaths actually, not just one. Um, one was a close friend who recently died from breast cancer, and it was a shock. Um, yeah, my illness has been keeping me in and out of hospital, keeping away from those that I really cared, from friends. I need a break, and um, I need to re regain some energy, hopefully, and um, come back with a fresh start, and spend some time, Christmas time, with the in-laws. Um, I personally don't celebrate Christmas, but they do, they kind of do, and therefore, I kind of do, <laughs> in a, you know, non, um, non sort of commercialised way. I just find Christmas a little bit too commercialised. It doesn't sort of do the true meaning of, of Christmas. But as long as what we do in the traditional sense of the way, then yeah, I kind of do, I guess. Anyway, um, I'm now waffling, and, um... I better get uh, a little bit more. Oh, uh, one more thing that I forgot to mention, um, as well as the fact that my nerves and my muscles were so bad yesterday, I've actually had to take out the spare walking stick that my husband has uh, due to his back. Um, my left calf has gone from bad to worse. Even though I've been driving an automatic car, um, I don't use my left leg, but dangling it and all that stuff, it really, really... I mean, even the tramadol that I take is numbing it but it's not taking it away so when i stand when i have it up it calms down nothing to worry about the minute i start standing it starts swelling um throbs 
and it just really pulled and I can't, you know, my feet when you're like that, I just can't go on my tiptoes and I'm limping really badly. So yes, the good old walking stick is out and hopefully that will help and I have a feeling that it's going to be for a while because my, it just takes almost forever for me to heal. So all fun and games, roll on the, the warmth, hopefully the warmth will help out, I'm hoping, um, I'm dreaming and I think I just need the break, it's something different. Anyway, love you guys and hopefully we'll catch up with you soon and keep you posted on how things are. I'm having a little bit of an appetite today, just hope I don't feel um, sick enough to sort of uh, vomit it all out. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go for soft, warm food um, and things that have a little bit of liquid to go on the rice, some salad and probably as much as I'm going to eat every few hours or I am, I'm going to be having sort of child's portion which is about a two or three year old that's just been introduced to food um that kind of sized portion um regular and frequent i say i'm going for all the things that i try and have high protein no acidic stuff um i'm avoiding red meat today um so yes um i've opted for brown rice i know high fiber causes me to go in a lot more but at least i'm getting the nutrition from the brown rice um, I've put turmeric on it to help out with the, the sort of um, benefits of the turmeric. Um, I've done what's similar to celeriac, but it's a, an Egyptian thing. I'm originally from Egypt, so it's called ul es, and you don't really find that in here in the West. But it's you in Arabic shops, you will find them cubed, um, and frozen with sort of ground coriander and garlic and stuff like that. And you kind of it's supposed to cook it with meat, but I've used the uh, the meat stock from it. Um, I'm going to, my husband and his dad, who usually comes around on a Sunday, they'll probably end up having the meat, which is really, really um, best lamb because it just becomes really soft and tender. They can probably end up having the meat, but I'm going to avoid having the red meat as long as the flavour is there um, and it'll be soaked into soupy sort of with the rice and I'll have some salad with it. Hopefully that will be my main meal today and I'll stick with soups and toast later on tonight. Um, it is really, really very, very high protein, very, very healthy, um, all the min quite high minerals. So yes, I'm looking, kind of looking forward to that later on. Anyway, um, I know I've waffled again and we'll uh, speak to you guys soon.